Oh, on my free-to-play account, boys, we're after getting a legend in three spins, man. Boom! Is it Carlos? Now, this would be game-changing. Whoever we get here, Danielson. This is going to be nice, man, on our free-to-play. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at the best builds for these five free players. So, you got Carlos, Cafu, Stoichkov, Danielson, and Van der Vaart. You get 17 spins at these. So, let me know if you got lucky or not. And these are the best builds. All right, boys. So as you saw, we did get Danielson. We're going to start with Danielson with this 95 build. That's what I'm calling him because he's got 95 ball control, 95 speed, 95 balance, 101 acceleration, and 91 tight possession with 99 dribbling. Insane card. Now, the one weakness on this card is his finishing. You, you just can't get it past 80. So there's no point even putting it at 75. But if, if you want to get it lofted past the 85 and you want the rest of the stats as they are here. He's just a really good solid out wide player that can't really finish. That is essentially what you're going to be getting with him. So this build of 4, 10, 8, 9, 9 and then the rest is 0. So it's a very solid build, very quick, very agile and definitely has impressed me with his direct running and his skills. He also has flip flap and double touch and soul control off the rip. So you'll be able to do advanced double touch similar to Neymar. So I definitely do rate him. He's way better than I thought he was going to be. And I've been very, very impressed with this whole player, Danielson. Obviously, his whole player play style is going to be a bit of an issue. And his finishing is going to be a bit of an issue. But other than that, for raw pace, for raw stretching out wide, he is a beast. Now for Cafu, I actually didn't spin Cafu. And I haven't really played with him. I did play a bit of co-op with him. But he is kind of just a traditional, kind of more defensive option. He can still get forward, but I don't think he's as good as Carlos, who we'll get to in a second. This is the build that we've gone for. Very simple. 3 into passing, 6 into dribbling and decks, 3 into lower body, 5 into aerial strength, and then 15 into defending. This is with the manager boost, but it's not with his booster, his actual personal booster. So depending on what manager you're going to be using, I definitely think this is probably the best base guide for him. But as I said, I haven't used enough of him to be able to, you know, actually say that he is going to be... I just think Carlos is better, who we'll get to right now. Or actually, I'll show you Van der Vaart's build first. So it's a very basic 7, 5, 9, 10, 6, and then 1 into goalkeeper 1. You don't really need that. But this Van der Vaart card, I know a lot of people have been raving about him. But to be honest with you, I just feel like there's so many good attacking midfielders in the game that he's going to be completely overshadowed. Like Stoichkov and Roberto Carlos and Danielson. They're kind of very unique because they have different stats, they have different builds that you can do with them. And you, I'll show you with Carlos in a second what I mean because I have two brilliant builds coming with Carlos here. But that is the build for Van der Vaart if anyone is wondering. All right, so you guys know that I have probably loved Carlos more than any other left back in the game. Now, I usually play him in kind of like a hybrid tree at the back and switching up to a left midfielder. And this is what this build basically is. It's a hybrid kind of uh, player of him, right? He's definitely one of the best, one of my favorite players to use. He does have a small couple of weaknesses, but you are going to be hitting 85 dribbling, lofted pass, set piece taken, and aggression all over 85 straight away with this build. On top of that, you're going to have 98 speed, 97 acceleration, 99 kick and power, 95 balance and stamina, and 90 curl. So it's a very, very strong card. Obviously, depending on how you want to build him up, he does have some good player skills, but he is a kind of a really attacking uh, uh, fullback. No matter how much you put into defense, as I'll show you in a second build in a second, there is no point in really making him into like a fully defensive option. Now, you can do it, but he is, he is going to wander unless you do a couple of advanced instructions on him. So this is the hybrid build that we've gone for of him if you want to push him in with a sub tactic into a left midfielder role or even up kind of left midfield um, as like a starter or else DMF. You can use this as a DMF as well or the other one that we're going to show you. 2, 8, 6, 9, 6, 4, 8 and 1 into jumping and that's going to be his hybrid role, right? Now, if you want to actually test it out, I think this is the best build of him personally speaking. Um just as we show you here. So it's 3 into passing, 5 into dribbling, 7 into decks, 3 into lower body, 4 into aerial strength, and then 15 into defending. Now, this build is with, all of these builds that we're showing you are with the Champs. Uh, the Champs is going to give you a plus 1 to speed. So that means that Carlos with this build is going to have 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 96 kick and power. But he's going to have a huge, huge defensive stats, right? So you're going to have defensive awareness over 80. That's going to hit the threshold. Tackling at 86 is going to hit the 85 stat threshold. And then aggression and defensive engagement are going to be in the 90s. You're still going to have 80 lofted pass. You can overcompensate with that by giving him a couple of more uh, player skills, like weighted pass, true passing, if you want to do that. He has pinpoint cross and outside curl and low lofted pass. It's a really fine card. This is the build that I've been using with Carlos and I think I've played well over 400, yeah, 470 uh, matches with him. I've played a lot with him. He's definitely in my top three players in the game. He's just so versatile, so unique. 
and definitely one of my favorite players to use. And then last but not least, we do have the beast that is Stoichkov. So I'm just going to get Stoichkov up. So this is the build that we've gone for for Stoichkov. Again, very impressed with him. I have him on my main account and we did spin him on our free to play as well. 91 attack and awareness, 95 ball control, 93 dribbling. Tight possession is a big issue with him. But if you don't dribble too much with him, if you just kind of touch and go, his balance will be more than enough to overcompensate for that. We've popped a lot into finishing to get it up to 93. Usually 90 is fine, but we wanted to curl up and we wanted his set piece taken at 90 as well. Speed 85, acceleration 95 and kick and power at 90. Bit of a weakness with his tight possession and physical contact. But other than that, 102 overall. There's the build, 9081172000. So it's a fine build for him with the champs. Definitely impressed me as well. But that is it kind of lads for this, right? Let me know who you got in your spins. That is all the players done and dusted there. I would have to say that Carlos is definitely the pick of them. He's just unreal. Now they're all good, but you will get 17 spins. If you want to see how to get 17 spins in total, make sure and check out my video. I'll have it linked and popped up there as well. So that is it for me with the best builds. Try out that Carlos build, lads. Trust me, if you do get him, he's an absolute monster end game level and probably going to be eFootball25 end game level as well. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.